everyone, I'm Benji. Hello, my name is Siha Nija. Hi, I'm Elliot. Hi, je m'appelle Caleb. Hi, my name's Layla. Hi, I'm Ruby. Hi, I'm Owen. Hi, my name is Sarah. Hi, I'm Wyatt. Hi, my name's Ariana. Hi, I'm Chase. Hi, my name's Spencer. Hi, I'm Zusa. Hi, my name is Ruben Blaster. Hi, my name is Cadence. Hi, my name is Jordan. Hi, I'm Hi, my name is Joshua. Hi, my name's Estelle, and you are watching Three Reds Chapel. Hi, I'm Paul, and I'd like to welcome you to chapel today. I'm a little exhausted because I've been doing so much travelling. So would you please help us stand and sing 10, 9, 8, God is great, while I have a little rest? 10, 9, 8, God is great. 10, 9, 8, God is great. Yes, we should sing it. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, God is great. Then you clap. Yes. Seven, six, five. God's alive. Clap. 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 clap, clap. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. He's the king of everyone. God's a mighty, mighty Lord of all. Again. Ten, nine, eight. Ten, nine, eight. God is great. Clap. 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 Seven, six, five. God's alive. Four, four, three, two, one. He's the king of everyone. God's the mighty, mighty Lord of all. Now the echo, get ready. You do it. I go. Ten, ten, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, two, one, zero. Please bow your heads and close your eyes as I pray. Dear God, I hope I hope we have a wonderful time at school and I have a and we all have a great time here and anywhere we go and hope we can be safe. Amen. Dear God, our Father in heaven, thank you for your love to us. Thanks for this beautiful day. And thanks for your glorious creations. Please give us a good time in chapel. Please bless everyone and please bless our teachers. We ask you to heal every sick person and protect us and everyone in this difficult time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. He really is great, you know, so great. I just want everybody to know about him. It's great news. I would like to know a bit about some of the students in Free Red. Hey, can you tell me which book is your favourite and why? My favourite book is 
the Beast of Buckingham Palace by David Williams. I love it because it's full of action and adventure. It is the set in number in the distant future in the year 2120. My favorite book is Captain Underpants because it's because it's funny and and it's fun. My favorite book is po a Pokemon book. My favorite book is the graphic novel called Sisters by Raina Tegmeyer. Tegmeyer because it is a graphic novel and I love it so much. My favorite book is an Australian survival book. I like it. It really has skills to survive in the wilderness and it can help you survive in almost anything. I love the book Room on the Broom because it is about the witch and the dragon and I can also watch it on TV. My favourite book is um, a chapter book and it's called Boy. I really like it because it's all about Roald Dahl's history. My favourite book would be called Survivors because it's about animals and dogs and I really like that because my favourite animal is those type of dogs. My favourite book is Harry Potter because I like wizards. This is my violin book and it's my favourite book because it's really special to me because I like playing the violin. Well, lots of people I met in Berea had a favourite book too. It was the scriptures, kind of like the Bible. They loved to read it. Hi, I'm Silas and I was with Paul in Berea. What an amazing experience. All those people that love reading the scriptures. I'd like to ask Ariane and Spencer to read the Bible for us now. Today we are reading Acts 17, 10 to 15. That night the believers sent Paul and Silas off to the city of Berea, where they once again went into the synagogue. They found that the Jews of Berea were of more noble character and much more open-minded than those of Thessalonica. They were hungry to learn and eagerly received the word. Every day they open the scrolls of scripture to search and examine them. To verify that what Paul taught them was true. A large number of Jews became believers in Jesus. Along with quite a few influential Greek women and men. When the news reached the Jews in Thessalonica, that Paul was now in Berea, preaching the word of God. The troublemakers went there too and agitated and stirred up the crowd against him. The fellow believers helped Paul slip away to the coast of Argency. While Silas and Timothy remained in Berea, those who accompanied Paul sailed with him as far as Ethan that Paul sent them back to Berea with instructions for Silas and Timothy to hurry up and join him.
Reading the Bible helps us understand God's great love, uh, us and the way he wants us to live. It is, it is important that we understand the true from the untrue. Sarah and I will read you out some statements and you will need to decide if they are true or false. If they are true, put your hands on your head. If they are false, put your hands on your tails. From our families watching at home, please join in with us as we all now, as we all now stand and answer the following questions. We will first have a practice question. Practice question. The sky is blue. If you put your hands on your head, you would stay standing. Now for the actual question. If you're sitting down, please stand up. Question one. Children should obey their parents. If your hands are on your head, stay standing. Question two. Black jelly beans are the best lollies. If your hands are on your head, stay standing. Question three. God loves us so much that he sent his son to save us. If your hands are on your head, stay standing. Question four. God created everything. If your hands are on your head, stay standing. Question five. Brussels sprouts are delicious. If your hands are on your tail, stay standing. <laughs> Question six. Jesus died on the cross for us. If your hands are on your head, stay standing. Question seven. The Bible is true. If your hands are on your head, stay standing. Well done and thank you to thank you to all the families who joined us at home as we played our game today. Everyone please take a seat. The jelly bean and Brussels sprout questions were about personal taste, but do not actually have a true or false answer. But the other questions were all about truth. The ultimate truth comes from the Bible. Well, while Silas and I were in Berea, we kept telling people the good news of Jesus because the Jews were trying to follow God. They read the scriptures every day. When we spoke to them, they checked to make sure if what we were saying was true. Yep, Paul, they did the right thing. They didn't just listen to us. They checked what we said against God's word. Very sensible people. Miss Heath, would you please come and talk to us? Well, good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here. And I have to tell you, I am starting to feel a little bit weird. I think... I may, I may have had some misinformation. Uh, you see, I, I ran into a friend of mine at the shops yesterday and she was saying that she had heard from a friend of a friend who thinks that maybe their parents know someone who comes here. Uh, Mrs Grimer had sent out an email to everyone to say that we were going to be upping our sun safety. And so we all had to wear hats and sunnies all the time. You know, no hat, no play. Maybe it was like no hat, no schoolwork. I, I'm, I think I might have, oh dear. I just, well, now I'm feeling really silly. You know what, maybe, maybe I should have checked. You know, Mrs Jackson was actually kind of looking at me funny a minute ago and kind of flagged me to say, I don't think you should be wearing that stuff inside. I'm starting to think that I think maybe she's right. Uh, well, she at least works here and she would have got the email from Mrs Grimer. Maybe, maybe it would be sensible if I actually went back to the email. I, I do have my laptop here. Maybe I can just quickly 
check. Uh, see if I can find that email. Oh. I'll type in Mrs. Grimer. Oh, okay. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> Oops. Mrs. Grimer did send an email, but her email was definitely about hats and sun safety, but actually she was congratulating on everyone on how well they've been wearing hats and everything out in the playground. It doesn't say anything about wearing my hat inside. Oh, I'm feeling really silly. Um, but interestingly, it does actually remind me of what we've just read in Acts. We've just heard about people who heard about Jesus and they heard from quite reliable sources. They heard from Paul and they heard from Silas. They are very influential men uh, teaching people about Jesus. But the best thing about what they did was they made sure they went right back to the most reliable source. They didn't just take Paul and Silas's word for it. They said, wow, I love what you're saying. This is fantastic. I want to hear about this man, Jesus. But you know what, I'm just going to double check that what you're telling me is actually true. I'm going to just double, I'm going to go back to the original place, to the place where we find out about God and his character and his plan. I'm going to look in the Bible. So the Bereans went back to the scriptures. They looked at the old, what is now our Old Testament. They looked back at the things that were written about God and about this promised person who was going to come sometime in the future and they checked to make sure that what Paul and Silas was telling them was actually the truth. That was a very, very clever idea. Because you know what? My friend that I ran into at the shops, my friend didn't have any idea what sort of emails Mrs. Grimer sends to the staff and the students and the parents here at the college. They weren't a student here. They weren't a staff member here. They weren't even connected directly to a person here at our college. I shouldn't have listened to them. That was really silly. Lots of people actually do that about the Bible as well. Lots of people claim to know what the Bible teaches and they claim to know things about Jesus and they're like, oh yeah, I've heard that Jesus does this or says this or he doesn't like this or he likes this when they haven't actually read it themselves. The really sensible thing to do is to read the Bible for ourselves so that we know what Jesus says and doesn't say. We know what Jesus did and didn't do. And we know what kind of life Jesus wants us to live as his people. So thank you so much to everyone in 3R who have been teaching us about Paul and Silas and the Bereans. And thanks, Mrs. Jackson, for correcting me on my sun hat wearing, feeling much less silly now. Uh, but I might finish off by praying this morning uh, please join me as I pray at home as well. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we have the most reliable source to know what you think about the world and what your plans are. Thank you that we can read about Jesus for ourselves. We can read what he said, we can read what he did, uh, and we can read about all the things that we need to know to be your followers. Uh, help us to trust what we read in the Bible and to be able to, to speak to people and find people who will help us to understand what we read as well. Help us to be people who live your way each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Mrs Heath. The Jews in Thessalonica heard about what we had been doing and came to cause trouble. I've got to get out of here. Bye! Sometimes people love to hear God's word and some people don't like it. Our job is to let people know about Jesus and then they choose whether to follow him or not. Chloe and Elliot will now close our chapel in prayer. Please bow your heads and close your eyes while we pray. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. What great news that is. We thank you that following him changes our lives. We pray that you will give us opportunities to tell other people the good news of Jesus. Amen. Dear God, we thank you for this wonderful day. 
We thank you that three word were able to prepare this chapel, whether we be in our homes, with our families or at school. We thank you that you love us and care for us. Amen. Thank you for joining us in chapel today. Have a wonderful week remembering how much God loves you. Uh, Ms. Jackson will now dismiss our chapel. Bye.